Hey guys, so today I'm here with the Edge Insight CS2 monitor fitting 05 to 14 2.7 liter, 05 to 15 4.0 liter, and 2016 3.5 liter Toyota Tacomas. So this is gonna be for the Tacoma owner who's looking to monitor the performance that their truck is making, but they're not interested in any large gauge pods or any gauge clusters added to their interior. So what this is gonna do is monitor all of that information and pull it directly from your engine control unit via your OBD2 port, giving you more insight into what your truck is doing, essentially taking all the gauge pods or gauge clusters that you would want or need and stuffing it into a compact device. Now this is gonna have a number of different features, including reading and clearing trouble codes. You do get to do performance tests out of this to test your Tacoma and see uh, how it's doing. You are able to data log and it's gonna give you real-time data uh, and gauges on the screen so you can monitor your truck while you're driving as well as a number of different features that I'll get into in just a minute. Now I would like to mention that this is not going to be a tuner so this isn't going to give you any performance gains if you were looking for that, uh, any horsepower or torque gains. This is strictly going to monitor what your Tacoma is doing. So. This is gonna be for somebody who's either happy with their performance or looking to get some performance with outside mods and wants a device that is going to monitor and track that performance as it goes along. Uh, so not to mention, this is going to be a small device, making it very sleek inside your cab area. It is gonna be very easy to use with the tactile buttons on the front, and it's gonna have a liquid crystal display or an LCD screen on the front that is colored for a little bit of a modern feel inside of your cab area. Now this is gonna be roughly $300 making this pretty averagely priced for what this is. Now we only offer two different devices like this. It's going to be this as well as another device offered by Edge, which is going to be a little bit higher priced. However, that is going to be a larger device with a larger screen and it's also gonna be a touch screen uh, bumping up that price a little. So if you were interested in the extra bells and whistles out of a device like this, uh, that is gonna be a good option. But if you're looking to save a little bit of cash uh, and you're looking for all the same options, and you don't need the touchscreen display, you're okay with a smaller device and tactile buttons, this is gonna be a great option to take a look at. So overall, if you're either happy with the performance out of your truck or you're looking to gain performance from other mods and you need to track all of that crucial information to get the most out of your truck, this is gonna be a great option to take a look at. Now, install is gonna be an easy one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, no tools required. All you really have to do is plug it in and set it up. And I'll show you how to do that as well as go through all of the features so let's jump into that now. So before you go ahead and set up your monitor, I would plug it into your computer and make sure that you have the most updated version of the software onto your monitor. But after that's finished, we can go ahead and plug it into the OBD2 port to power it up, and then we can mount it to our mount that's gonna mount up to our windshield. So now we can go ahead and plug in our OBD2 port connector. So now we can take the HDMI side of our cable and plug it into the back of our monitor here and that's going to uh, illuminate the screen. And then we can go ahead and grab our mount. So this is actually gonna slide on the back of our monitor here. And then once that's in place, we can tighten down this little mount. So once that's tight on there, we can head up to our windshield, mount it where we want it. For visual purposes, I'm just going to mount it in the middle so you guys can see we can pull down that locking tab and it should stay in place. So once you are in this position, this is going to come up with a prompt, just a warning prompt uh, telling you to read the manual. So once you've done that, we can uh, make sure that our ignition is on. Then we can go ahead and press enter to continue. So after you press enter, after the warning prompt, we can move on to the OEM selection menu. So you wanna make sure uh, that you scroll down and hit Toyota. After selecting that, you're gonna, uh, it's gonna prompt you again to make sure that your ignition is in the on position. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and move along with that. And it's gonna think for a little bit. So after you're done uh, setting up your device, it's going to prompt you to your gauge screen. And this is what you're gonna be seeing while you're driving or monitoring your vehicle. Uh, you can change these different uh, parameters here. So you do have your MPG and your RPM. You can see in real time, your miles per hour, your load, and your barometric pressure per square inch. Um, so you can go ahead and change these. What we're gonna do is go into our main menu and check out some of our options. So first, right off the bat, you have your screen layout. So you can go in and change your background and your uh, overall layout of all of your gauges. So we go back, 
into our main menu. We can go down to our next option, which is gonna be our records. So once you're done data logging, all of your records are gonna go into this folder. Uh, you can clear this and then you can check out everything that goes along with your uh, data logging, uh, even in your performance testing as well. So if we go back, We can go down into your performance test. So once you're done data logging or completing performance tests, it's gonna go into that records folder. You can do a zero to 60, a quarter mile, and test your horsepower numbers. Um, and then down at the bottom, you have your instructions on how to do those three tests. And we're gonna go back into the main menu, uh, and then you have your data logging here. So this is going to give you a number of different options in order to do multiple data runs. Uh, so this is going to monitor like, your spark timing uh, and multiple different parameters in order to gain all of that data uh, if you need to send that off to someone who is tuning your Tacoma uh, or even just if you want to monitor your air to fuel ratio uh, and any other parameter that you need to monitor. So we're gonna go in back. Then we can go into diagnostics. Now, we don't have any trouble codes or engine codes on our Tacoma, uh, so we are not displaying anything. However, if you do, you are able to read that code and you are able to clear it as well. Go back again. So after diagnostics, we can go down into mileage coach. So once you go into your mileage coach, this is going to tell you your average, your last fuel economy. You're going to be able to monitor your odometer. Um, you can enter a fuel price, a mileage cost, as well as a trip cost. Uh, and this is just going to help you conserve your fuel and increase your fuel efficiency. We can go back to our main menu again. We have a couple more options. Then you have your maintenance manager. This is going to notify you whenever you're doing any maintenance on your vehicle. You can put in uh, your odometer reading and this will notify you to change multiple items. So this will uh, alert you to change your air filter, axle fluid, cabin air filter, engine coolant, engine oil, fuel filter, spark plugs, trans fluid, transfer case fluid, uh, even to inspect your brake, uh, your brake pads, lube your front drive shaft, lube your tie rod ends, um, and even rotate your tires. So you have a bunch of different options in there, and it will notify you uh, when you need to change those or check those. And then our last setting, I believe, yes, is going to be our settings. So this, if we go into this, this is just going to be some basic settings for your device as well as your Tacoma. Um, so you have your vehicle settings, your alert settings, uh, and then display settings. And then down at the bottom, you are able to factory reset your uh, monitor here. So if you changed a bunch of parameters inside of your monitor and you're looking just to have a clean slate, you can go ahead and select that option. However, so that's gonna wrap it up as far as the features go. Now you don't have to keep this plugged in all the time. Uh, you can remove this if you want to, really whenever you want to. But if you are gonna keep this up here, I would recommend to clean up this wiring. You can take off this trim panel on the side and tuck it inside to uh, clean everything up and make sure that that's out of the way for safety purposes. However, that's gonna wrap it up for this. So that's gonna wrap it up for my review and install. Make sure you like and subscribe. And for more videos like this, always keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.